Hello and welcome. We're going to solve another problem, this time with the perfect gas and ideal gas models. These are the gas, gas model to find properties of gases. The main difference between the two is that while the IG or the ideal gas model is based on ideal gas equation, the perfect gas model is also uh, based on the same equation except it is further simplified uh, by assuming the specific heats CP and CV are constant for that model. Anyway, it will become clear as we solve the problem. So let's begin with a very uh, typical problem uh, involving a gas. In this problem, we have air trapped in this piston cylinder assembly and the gas is being compressed from an initial volume of 1 meter cube to 0 0.1 meter cube. The volume becomes one-tenth. And the, the compression is in isentropic manner, which means the entropy is held constant. Now, we don't have to know why, but just to know the reason, uh, once you know the, the energy and entropy equation of a system, you'll realize that if compression is done very quickly, we can show that entropy remains constant for a gas. Anyway, our task is simpler. Given that entropy remains constant, we have to find the final state of the gas, find the temperature, pressure, and the change in stored energy of the system, internal energy of the system. Okay, so let's begin by an appropriate, uh, we'll just start with a launch the system state test calc. So we go to the test calc page, we want to find properties of a closed system, so we click here, and we'll first solve the problem with PG model, the perfect gas model right here, and then very, and once again solve it with the ideal gas model. We launch the test tab by going to the HTML5 page. Air is already the default fluid, so we could choose something else if necessary. That's the first step. Okay. And we just enter what is no what are known about state one. Uh, pressure is supplied 100 kPa. Temperature is supplied 300 Kelvin. And the volume is known one meter cube. So notice that even if we want, we cannot supply say for instance specific volume because we have enough information already in. And if you click there. You'll notice that at the bottom, the, the red error message tells you that, or warning message tells you that you cannot enter more properties. Okay, we click the calculate button. State one is totally calculated. State two, uh, again, we know the final volume uh, is 0 0.1 or 1 tenth. We could write an equation, which is always a good, a better practice, volume one divided by 10. That way, if I change our volume one, uh, this equation, this particular value doesn't have to be entered again. So from the volume itself, we cannot find the state. Let's go step by step. Suppose we also know that mass cannot be changing. So this is the first thing, that even before entering known properties, we know that it's a closed system, therefore mass must be constant. Final volume is given, mass is same. So therefore, see the specific volume has been calculated, density has been calculated. But we need something more. And what is the Next, link, entropy in this case doesn't change. It's isentropic process, S2 equals S1. And now the entire state is known. And these are our answers, like find the final pressure, find the final temperature, and find the final mass. If you put the pointer over there, you will notice you can, the, the, over here on the top, on the top, panel, if you put the pointer over here, it says M2 equals M1 equals 1.16. Uh, of course, you could go to state one and find the mass 1.16. So, and, and to find the change in store of internal energy, we can just write an equation. We want to find delta U equals, we know it's mass one times, because mass doesn't change, you can, we could write like this, U2 minus U1. and we got get the store, change in stored energy. So let's write down these answers so that then we can compare that with an ideal gas solution. 
So this is a perfect gas model. It's not only it's written here, it's a perfect gas model, but you can see that CP and CV, the specific hits, are in red, their material property. In other words, the moment you choose a gas, these values are determined. And that's why they're material property. They don't depend on the particular equilibrium. On the other hand, the ideal gas model relaxes that assumption. CP and CV can be temperature dependent. That's, that's why ideal gas model, the IG model is a little more accurate. But if the temperature change is not huge, then perfect gas model will produce just as accurate an answer. And it's way simpler to use the perfect gas model when you solve the problem manually. And it gives you more insight into a problem. That's why in more advanced gas dynamics calculation, we always use the perfect gas model. Okay, so let's see how we can transfer this solution to the ideal gas model. One way to do it is to click the super calculate button. What it does, it produces some test code here. Uh, the test code is simply what is known about state one and state two. So all we need is copy the test code, including the equation that we wrote, control C, and let's open the ideal gas model. Uh, so you can go to a new tab, thermofluids.net. Go to test calcs, system states, and this time we'll launch the ideal gas model. Come to the HTML5 page. It looks almost identical, but notice CP is in blue. It's a thermodynamic property now. It's a function of temperature. Okay, we could enter all these numbers by hand, but one quick way is to go there and paste the test code. Because the two models are so similar, you'll understand that these are the properties known, so I can just load them once I load them, I go back to the state. See, it has loaded the pressure and temperature and volume. So I can calculate state one using the ideal gas model this time. See, this is the IG model. State two, as you can see, things have been loaded here also. We can do a calculate and state two is found. Come to the IO panel and enter, uh, you know, delta U equals M1 star U2 minus U1, which is, the answer is given here, 378.23. See, barely there's a difference. If you know, if you remember what we got before, it was close to that value. And what about the final, uh, you know, the exactly the same pressure it produces. Uh, the temperature is what, uh, 754, again, is very very close to what the perfect gas model produced because the temperature difference is not that much from 300 kelvin we got went to 754 kelvin that's why the perfect gas and ideal gas models agree so well if the temperature difference was a lot suppose we are heating the gas to 2000 kelvin then you'll begin to see difference emerge between uh, difference emerges between perfect gas and uh, ideal gas model